John tells us if you walk in the light, well, then you know what's right or wrong. Sometimes I get dressed in the dark because I don't want to wake up my wife. And I put on a pair of blue pants and green socks. Now, some people always dress like that, but I try not to. And I get out in the light and I take a look and I see, <laughs> I haven't done very well, have I? Now, see, the problem is if you're in the dark, well, then you can't distinguish between blue and green. And people come to me and say, what's wrong with this anyway? And I don't say it, but sometimes I think it. My friend, I think you're walking in the dark. Because whoever is spiritual needs not that any man tell him. He can judge things. He can see what's right and wrong. And quite frankly, if you have a heart after God, it won't even cross your mind to ask those questions. What's wrong with going here? Nobody ever says, what's wrong with going to prayer meetings? You want to fight about it? We know that's right. Because it's the light, you see. And if we're in the light, we, we can tell what's right and what's not right. And it's very easy for us to start to rationalize and say, well, that's not worldly. We're not talking so much about where we go or what we do. We're talking about loving something. That's why the Bible always puts it that way. Love not the world, nor the things that are in the world. The question is, where's your heart? Is your heart after God? Then I won't have to tell you what you ought not to do. I won't have to tell you that. John tells us if you walk in the light, well, then you know what's right or wrong. We start to develop this pagan notion that what God wants is a good, clean life. How many times have you heard people tell you that? You talk to them about having a relationship with the Lord, and they say, well, I live a good, clean life. Well, that's not what God wants, is it? Do you know any verse that says God wants a good, clean life? Here's what God says he wants. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all thy mind and all thy soul and all thy strength. That's what God wants. You'll only be satisfied if you're madly in love with him. If you don't find God lovable, it's because you don't know him. To know him is to love him, because God is love. And all love is of God. People have the strange notion they can love everything else, but they couldn't love God. It would never cross their mind to love God. And all the time, God is love. And manifested his love in such a magnificent way, it ought to take our breath away. That he should let his own son be spiked to a cross out of love for rebel sinners. The question comes back to loving God, you see.